Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Okay, so first I would like to do step by step. I like to do my eyes, then my mouth, and then I'm finished. So let's go. Alright, so first we are going to be taking the Bond Bell eyeshadow and we are going to be doing the da darkest color for brow eyes. Dar brown brown eyes are best suited for these colors. So if you guys can see it here. So yeah. That's the eyeshadow we're going to be using. Okay. So we're going to be taking this color. I know guys it looks like a mess right now but it's Friday um and stuff like that and when I'm doing makeup I usually like to keep my hair back but I couldn't find a clip for my hair so I just had to leave it like that. I just put it in a, in a ponytail. Okay. Here, let me zoom in on my eyes. So we are going to take the bra brown bo brown oh, eyeshadow brush. I can't see, can't see. I'm gonna apply it. Okay. So again, take it and. I see, I'm like really scared that you guys are not going to be seen. Okay, angle. This is very useful for like school stuff. If you want to look if your eyes look symmetrical, okay. I want my eyes to look symmetrical, so. Okay. So once we're done with the eyes, with the eyeshadow, this is basically eyeshadow is done. Close up your eyeshadow. going to be applying well, eyeliner. I really like this trick. So if you don't have liquid eyeliner, um, then use mascara. It's basically the same thing. Um, but what I, I recommend do, to use is black mascara. Do not use like purple mascara, brown mascara, only black. So we are going to be taking the tip of the tube right here. We're gonna take be uh, we're gonna be taking the brown brush and applying it just like so. And then as you can see it gets black. Okay. It's gonna be very hard work to do this. Because you need a lot of eyeshadow. Deep in there. Not deep, but like that. You basically want it to get on the the middle part, not on the sides, because the sides are not going to be doing anything in this video. So, yeah. Okay. So, oh my god. 
Okay, so we are basically taking this like an angle brush. So don't do it like this. Do the part, the angle part, this part, to be in your inner eye. So we're going to close it. Don't worry if you mess up. I mess up a lot of times. So don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. If you want to do a wing, I don't like doing wings, but if you want to, I'm going to show you. Because wings kind of pop off, pop out the eye. So, I kind of like them. So, yeah, it's good. It's all good. Hold on. Okay. Okay, let's get started. We were doing the eyeliner. So, we're basically taking it from the end. I'm putting a wing on it. So yeah. Alright. Okay. If you want to do a wing, you have to, once you left off on this part, you have to begin from that part so you can do like the wing. And it's really marked. So that's basically a little wing right there, if you guys can't see it, that's a wing. So, yeah. Alright, let's do this guy. Yay. Okay. This technique is kind of hard and easy at the same time, so there have there are ups and downs with this technique. So once you're done with the eyeliner, I need a little bit of more in one eye. So, once you're done with the eye, sorry if I was, like, covering my whole face, because I needed the mirror a lot for this technique. I always need the mirror for this technique a lot. Okay, so once you're done with the eyeliner, I know I kind of look messed up, but it doesn't matter. But what, what you like to, what my Sophia also does is put the color of eyeshadow that she wants can be black, like, really black, really, really black. And then with the Q-tip, you use makeup remover, and then with the q-tip you just like go align and then it gets really neat so i'm going to try doing that technique otherwise than this one but this one helps a lot too and i hope you guys it helps to you too okay so sorry okay so once we're done with the eyes with the eyeliner we're going to put on mascara okay work your way up from the roots up 
slowly so you don't get any crumbs in your eyes. Okay. Next bar. Oh, creepy. Okay. What I like to do with my eyes, and I, I wanted them to look symmetrical, so I just like split my head, my face in half, and then it looks symmetrical, I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna take the eyelash curler and then curl the lashes. Okay. One, two, three. Two, three. I grab any on done with the eyes. Eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, everything. The eyes are done. Let's get on to the lips. Okay, so once I am done with my eyes, I would like to put my matte lipstick on. Ow. Also guys, if you want to add a little color, I got this from the How Halloween store, and it's this red liner, which is kind of pink when you apply it, but don't apply it too much. So, once we're done with the lipstick, the lip gloss, you put that on, and then that's on. So, we're first going to apply the vitamin E lipstick, and just a little bit in the middle. Okay. I know it looks really weird, but it doesn't matter. We'll see how it'll turn out. So we're gonna clean the edges of it. I know it looks really retarded, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna clean it up and then spread it all over. Nope. Okay. Then now we're gonna take the cappuccino. Um, Lip light. We're gonna apply it. All right. So now that we're done with that, take it, clean it. And then you are finished. But now we are going to take the light the lip liner and we're going to edge it. We're going to like sculpt it and then we're going to take it and then. We're gonna spread it. <laughs> See, it adds a little bit of color, and then clean the edges again. And now you are done. See that? Everything in your face pops out, like your eyes, everything pops out. So that's the whole thing of the eyeliner and the mascara that works. Um, of the eyeliner that works. So this is basically it um, for school. I think it's a really good makeup for school. 
It can also be an, an another good makeup for like um for like party and stuff. But you don't have to put eyeliner not to show it, but for school, um maybe because of your uh school rules and stuff like that. So um yeah, this is pretty